I thank my colleague, my friend from Michigan, Mr. Mitchell, and his co-host, Ms. Walters from California, for this first special order of the Tax Reform Truth Squad. And we're thrilled that Texans had the first choice, first chance to speak on such an important issue. That, my friend, Texans love to brag about Texas. And that's what we'll do tonight. That's what I'll do. I want to brag about two stories from home and two faces from home. The first face is Justin Menino. That's him right there. He runs the Houston Shoe Hospital in my hometown of Sugarland, Texas. It's right there at the corner of Williams Trace and State Highway 6. For two years, I've taken my boots be shined at that store. I talked to Justin about what the tax code, the cuts, will do for his business. He said, it's simple. More money in my pocket means I will pay off all my credit cards and all our debt. But most important, Justin met his bride in Mexico. They were married there. With all this new money he has because of our tax cuts, he plans to take his two kids to the same church where they were married to baptize them in the, in the Lord Jesus Christ. That is priceless, and that has happened because of these tax cuts. The second story of faith that comes to mind is a dear friend. Andres Novoa. He is the owner of a Fort Bend County icon, La Cocina, Mexican restaurant, right there off of Highway 357. He told me that the biggest benefit to his business is that he can pay his employees more, more money in their pockets. He can expand his business, new equipment, he said the last four years of high taxes and exploding regulations have caused a small retroaction in his business, retraction. He is now in full expansion mode. He is giving his employees more pay and has plans to buy more equipment. And there's more. Andres is the heart and soul of an annual fundraiser for Seniors Meals for Wheels in Fort Bend County. Every Cinco de Mayo, when Mexico celebrates their independence from France, he has a fundraiser at La Cocina. Last year, he raised over $60,000. In his pocket, he thinks he can have a bigger party, maybe raise $100,000, or maybe purchase a new van to deliver foods. That's Andres right there. He was smiling because he was talking with us about those amazing tax cuts. One more picture. I invite America to check out Justin's story and Andre's story on my website, my Facebook, or my Twitter hear their voices, see them speak, learn what they've learned. I'll close with a request from Justin and Andres. They want me to say thank you to President Donald Trump. Thank you to every member of Congress who voted for this bill. This bill is not 
about crumbs. This bill is about real money in real people's pockets. I invite everyone to come down to Houston, Texas and Sugarland, get your boots shine at Houston Shoe Hospital. And if you have some time, add another belt buckle because you'll get filled up at Andre's restaurant, La Cocina. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Mitchell. I yield back.